Like the combine trainer, you're not gonna be ready for camp. You gotta get, you gotta do conditioning. You gotta get back in football shape after you go to the combine. So, yeah. so depending on where you get drafted and whatnot, or where you get picked up, you gonna get a little bit of reps. And if you don't make them count, then that's probably gonna be the last reps you get because your string is so small as a rookie, as opposed to a vet. They got a whole bunch of breathing room. But it's tiring. And the mental aspect. I'm not sure what offense y'all came from. I came from a simple offense, and they give you like a hundred pass concepts, and they give them to you in the morning, and they be like, "Oh, you got to know these by practice, but it's two hours later." So they're giving you all this stuff on paper, and they expect you to go straight onto the field to be able to run. So you got to be tough. Like our install meetings is two hours long, just sitting, going over the plays. You take those straight to the field, no walk through, no nothing, straight to the field, all that. And if they push you in, and you don't know what you're doing, they don't feel comfortable putting you in the game. Like rookie mini really games hard too. Because you got to think, if you're a receiver, yeah. if they because only bring in three receivers, I got to do the whole thing. Yeah. And yeah. those are like two hours, but yeah. it's only three days. Huh? Three days. It's like a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So who do you got to put in the other? OTAs, I saw that OTAs aren't bad. Like OTAs is more like slow. They make quick, you feel like? Yeah, construction. Then they get all the football. You can't work the camp. Because every day you compete for a job. It's not like practice, oh, okay, I'm trying to get ball. And the coaches are not going to help you. You're like, hey, coach, man. Under the radar sports media, the hottest sports videos in the nation. Turn 